Hello everyone and welcome to another Asus Transformer Prime video. I'd love to give you another video on a great application today but unfortunately I have these uh, two uh, windows which are on my Transformer Prime at the moment which are causing much distraction. Of course these two windows are actually applications showing you a hint into possible multitasking on the Asus Transformer Prime. And those two uh, windows come from an application which is simply called Super Video, uh, an application that gives you floating videos on any screen on the Asus Transformer Prime. So let's show you how this application works. I'm going to go to the directory folder here and choose a video to play. In this example, I'm going to play a video of the Game of Thrones uh, fantasy television series. And now, as you can see, the window is not full screen. It's uh, simply overlaid onto the current application and I can drag it around the screen as I like. As you can see at the moment, it has a few options so I can uh, skip forwards and backwards on the actual program. But if I tap on the screen itself, uh, the options go away and now I can press in the bottom right of the uh, screen and that enables me to actually resize it. If I tap on the screen again, the options come back and I'm using the green uh, box in the top right hand corner, much as I would do in Windows to make the screen full screen. And then I can use an option in the top left to change the actual crop size of the screen to fit it to my uh, suited needs. As you can see, Super Video is a fairly robust, versatile and unique application, especially because you can play videos in a small window, as I've already shown you, but also at full size in the standard way. There are gesture controls that you can also use, as you can see here now, I'm scrolling up and down on the very right edge of the screen, which enables me to change the volume. There is also an option on the left hand side to change a brightest, but it doesn't seem to be compatible uh, with the Asus Transformer Prime. But here is the big thing about the Super Video application. I can choose a second video and it will open up in a completely new window and then I now have two videos playing at the same time and I can resize them to my heart's content and play about with them. This is the free version of Super Video and in the full version I believe you can run as many as six videos uh, at any time. And now these videos are overlaid onto the Asus Transformer Prime screen. So I've gone back to my home screen, but the videos remain there overlaid on top. Now I'm looking in a browser, which is again in the background, but my screens remain. So this is now showing you again another glimpse into potential multitasking because I can uh, read a web article and have a video playing possibly in the right hand side as I'm doing here. So the example I'm now showing you is uh, two videos of Game of Thrones running, although one has seen to have uh, crashed slightly but then I've fixed it and now I can read a BBC News article on this left hand side. Super Video also has the ability to play YouTube videos by scooping up the URL from the video and playing it within its own application. So here I'm going to choose a random YouTube video. Unfortunately not mine today, but uh, there it goes. I'm going to pause it and then I can use the share button on the right hand side to choose the option. I've already selected it, so as you can see here it already appears as my uh, primary share button. So now it's feeding in the YouTube URL into the uh, player and now the video is there and I could exit the uh, YouTube application if I wanted to but the YouTube video would still continue to play. So again, uh, another handy way of being able to watch a YouTube video or any other video while you're doing something else. Now this can't be considered true multitasking because the super video window is just overlaying itself over other windows. But what I'm doing now is using Overscreen, which has the same inherent properties in that I can resize the Overscreen web browser to a smaller size. So now I have a full website window and then two videos playing on the left hand side. It's starting to look more and more like an actual Windows desktop screen here. Admittedly, it's not perfect and it does look a bit uh, scruffy and clunky. But it is a step forward for Android. What we really need to see is an application that can put any other application within a window itself. Maybe that one's for the future. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again soon in another Asus Transformer Prime video.